something that matters. What, what's going on? Joy? This is only if you want it to happen. But I set up a date for you and Charlie. <laughs> Angel? Dean? Are you sure about this? Positive. If she likes you, she'll say yes. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. So, Joy, don't feel pressure to say anything. It won't ruin a friendship. And I'll clean up and clean up all of this and act like it never even happened if you don't want it to. But, do you want to... What's this? Do you want to go on a little date with Charlie? I'd love to. Awesome. Enjoy yourselves. Let's go, Dean. Anyways, while completing the assignment, I want you to be honest with yourself. Will this assignment help you with future careers? Have a nice day, students. Uh, hey, Uncle Lucas, uh, can I ask you something really quick? Yeah, what's up? Well, I have an assignment in another class as well about future careers, and it's my literature class. They ask about what you want to do when you get older, and why. And to be completely honest, I think I want to be a teacher. One, because I love kids and I would love to be an elementary school teacher, but another because I want to be as good of a teacher as you. Well, I'm flattered. Why do you need help then? I want, I wanted to ask you as my sources, what do you believe makes a good teacher? Just remember what it feels like to be a student. And that everyone is human. Encourage people to do what they love. That's what makes a good educator. Thank you. I'll use that. Have a good day, Angel. And good luck. Thanks, Uncle Lucas. That was really good advice. I've been thinking a lot recently, and my mom's an author, and I thought about being that as well, but... I realized that I want to work with kids. I want to help them be able to do what they want to do when they get older. Without feeling pressured by anyone else to do something sensible or reasonable. They should be able to do what they love without feeling the fear of failing. And that's what I want to do. I want to educate kids to let them know that they're smart enough to do anything they put their mind to. Whether that's acting or being a scientist. I want to be as good of a teacher as Uncle Lucas. He encourages his students to do what they love. And he treats them with respect, rather than treating them like he's better than them just because he has a college degree. Anyways, um, I need to get to class. Hey, Dean. Psst. You were asking about how the whole Charlie and, um, Joy stuff went. Apparently it went really well. I was talking to Joy this morning about it. Really? I'm so glad. I know, right? Mr. Levi, Miss Atwood, is there something you'd like to share with the class? Uh, no, Miss Phillips, I'm so sorry. Um, it was kind of an emergency thing we had to talk about. We won't talk again, I promise. Thank you. As I was saying, this exam is 25% of your grade, so do well or else. Good example of not a good teacher. I'm super stressed over this exam. You're gonna do great, Dean. Don't worry about it. You get good grades, you're gonna get a good grade on the exam. Don't worry. Yeah. Can we get together and study tonight? My place? Of course, Dean. I need to study just as much as you do. Awesome. Thanks, Angel. 
No problem. Uh, Axel? Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt anything. Angel, my lovely. May we speak for a moment? Uh, sure. Uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit, Dean. Uh, okay. See you around. What do you want, Axel? Why so feisty? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound, um, quick or <laughs> feisty. I'm just kind of in a rush. Um, what's up? I see. So you don't have time for me? What? <laughs> Darling, you make time for me. Please? You're so sweet to everyone, I just want attention too. There's the bell. I need to get the class. Okay, you can go. I guess I allow it. What the heck was that? 